hello friends today we will be going through the important problem associated with applied mechanics that is mainly related with the basic concept in static and static equilibrium of chapter 2 applied mechanics and this problem is asked in many universities in Nepal and other universities as well so our problem is two cylinders A and B raised in the channel as shown in the figure the weight of the cylinder A is 200 Newton and diameter is 10 centimeter while the weight of the cylinder B is 500 Newton having its diameter of 18 centimeter determine the contact forces so our aim is to determine the contact forces at 1 2 3 and 4 as shown in the figure okay now we will now friends the above figure can be drawn in the simplified as shown in the figure so as shown in the figure we can see that this point is contact point 1 this is contact point 2 this is contact point 3 and this is contact point 4 and all we need to determine is to is to find out the reactions at this contact point so we need to find out the angles we need to find out the angle associated with these all reaction forces so if we find the angles associated we can easily find out the the unknown reactions in the above figure so for, so friends for that we just draw a line av joining the centers of the two rollers okay now we need to find out the angles as this alpha angle so for finding this angle we need to know these distances isn't it so we need to know this distance or this distance or this distance so we have to look it so we have to find out the distance associated because we need to apply the either sine either cos formula or either tangent formula isn't it to find out this angle alpha so for this we just draw a line perpendicular to this plane isn't it since this contact surface okay since this reaction is perpendicular to this contact surface we can draw a line as shown in the figure likewise there is the contact surface so for in a contact surface we can uh, this reaction will be always perpendicular to the contact surface as shown now our aim is to find out the distance this distance bo distance for so for finding out the distance BO, we can draw these perpendiculars, okay? And we just assume the angles between these triangles, P, B, Q, and this triangle, B, Q, R, as X and Y, respectively. So, if we just find out these X and Y angles, then we can easily find out this distance, Q, R. So, if we just find out this Q, R distance, then we can easily find out the distance bo so we will proceed on that x plus y equals to 180 degree isn't it equals to 180 degree so solving this we can easily write easily write x plus x plus y equals to 120 degree 120 isn't it but you can see that in the figure you can see that these two triangles can be similar triangles since this side is perpendicular this side is also perpendicular and this this is one of the common sides here so the angle associated that is x and y are equal in this case so we can write here so equals to we can write so this is r isn't it so we can write 2x 2x equals to 120 degree 120 degree so you or we can have the value of angle x equals to 60 degree isn't it so we can just determine this values of this angle x and angle y that is angle x and angle y are equal having 60 degree each again friends we can find out the angle this angle isn't it so pb 
PBQ angle. We can find the PBQ angle in this triangle PBQ as 30 degrees, isn't it? Since since this is a triangle, so some of the three angles is 180 degree. So 90 plus 60 degree plus this angle equals to 180 degree. So if you just solve it, then the angle PBQ that will come out to be 30 degree. This angle PBQ equals to 30 degree. Now friends, in this triangle BQR, okay, in this triangle BQR using the property that is tan theta equals to P by B. So here tan theta, theta is 60 degree, tan 60 degree equals to P perpendicular is your BR and base is your QR. So BR by QR. Now friends, we can find out the value of this QR isn't it so this qr qr value will be equals to br by br by 10 60 degree okay 10 60 degree so if you solve this you can easily get the value of qr equals to qr equals to 5.196 196 centimeter will be the value of qr Now, this distance BO can be easily computed as soon as you know the distance QR. So, this QQ dash is 18 centimeter that is given in the question. And if you just add all this and equate with 80 centimeters, you can easily find the distance QR here. So, QR plus BO plus this 5 centimeter equals to 18 centimeter, and this BO will be coming out to be 7.804 centimeters. Now, in this triangle BOQ BOA sorry we can use the cos formula so that we can easily get the, this angle alpha so this angle alpha can be easily find out by cos formula cos alpha equals to BO by AB that is B by H and if we just solve this alpha will be coming out to be 56.123 degree so this is the free body diagram of this body A so in which the weight is acting vertically downward of 200 Newton and there will be the R3 that is the reaction produced by this body B towards body A in this direction okay making an angle making an angle 56.123 degree with the horizontal since this is making this R3 will be made along this direction okay along the direction of projected BA making making an angle of 56.123 degree and there will be the reactions at this contact point 4 in this direction since reaction is always perpendicular to the contact point okay so this direction will be the contact reactions at point 4 so friends the using the equilibrium conditions equilibrium equations we can find out the reactions associated in the given Free body diagram of body A. So using the summation of forces in upward direction, that is in y direction, taking upward direction as positive, we can write R3 into cos sorry into sine of 56.123 degree minus 200 equals to 0. And if you solve this, you will easily get R3 equals to 240.89 Newton. Likewise, we need to find out we need to find out this reaction R4 using the equilibrium condition using summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. Similarly friends, taking the summation of forces in this direction, in x direction as positive, taking rightward positive, okay, we can easily write R3 cos 50, R3 cos 56.123 degree minus R4 equals to 0. If we solve this, R4 will be coming out to be 134.28 Newtons. So friends, now we need to draw the free body diagram of this body B. Okay. So we have reactions at the contact point 1, 2 and the reaction that is generated by this body A. 
okay to ask the body b at contact point 3 so the weight will be acting vertically downward of 500 newton and at contact point 1 and this contact point 1 is as shown in this figure isn't it so this is along in this direction you you can just look at this figure now this is y y is 60 degree this is 90 degree and this angle will be 30 degree and this is again 60 plus 90 so this angle will be again your 30 degree so 30 plus 30 is your 60 degree and this is perpendicular isn't it so this is perpendicular so this angle angle made by this reaction with the horizontal will be obviously 30 degree since so this r1 is making 30 degree with respect to the horizontal and this r3 is obviously making angle this alpha alpha is 56.123 okay <clears throat> and at the contact point 2 the reaction will be as shown in the figure okay so we need to determine the values of r2 r and r1 and r3 is already known using the equilibrium conditions equilibrium equations in this body in x direction that is summation of forces in x direction <coughs> equals to 0 and taking rightward direction as positive so taking this direction x direction or rightward direction as positive we can get r1 cos 30 degree minus r3 cos 56.123 degree equals to 0 and if we solve this we can easily get r1 as 155.05 degree likewise we need to solve for <coughs> summation of forces in y direction equals to 0 so taking the summation of forces in y direction that is summation of forces summation f y equals to 0 upward direction positive we get r2 in upward direction r2 plus r1 sin 30 degree minus r3 sin 56.123 degree minus 500 equals to 0 and we can easily find out the value of r2 as 622.47 newtons <coughs>